Just moments ago, we had a press conference by the Gujarat police for the first time since the tragedy that played out that unfolded in Morbi. While they were assured that all accused will be nabbed, they failed to answer any questions about why the FIR doesn't name any of the municipal corporation authorities, why the owner of the company, Oreva, hasn't been named or taken into custody just yet. While officials of Oreva, managers linked to the company, have been taken in, when asked about the owner of Oreva, the Gujarat top cop, the Rajkot IG, didn't give any answers, only saying that the investigation is still underway. Ashutosh Mishra is joining us live from Morbi. Ashutosh, you've been reporting from late last night, from the site where this happened. So you've seen this tragedy unfold before your eyes. Obviously, we all have a lot of questions right now about what led to this kind of a tragedy. Some of those questions about people who are accountable for these lapses were raised before the Gujarat police. What are the answers that we really got from the Rajkot IG? You know, uh, uh, in this entire press conference and the first sequence of the arrests that have been made by nine people uh, by the Gujarat police in this uh, primary investigation, well, uh, you know, this is as per the standard protocol, standard law and order procedure and uh, standard legal process. But it will be called up and indeed the apprehensions are being raised that it should not be made just eyewash by just going after the small fishes because this is a criminal negligence. You can't just go and arrest just only a manager or someone who is sending the, you know, selling the tickets. Because you, when you open after the renovation, whether the security clearance, the audit, that was sought or not, that remains the first question. And hence, the owner of that company who has this project, who's and, and, and this comes under his authority, it doesn't matter if he has handed over to the other agencies or other few people or to subcontract to another company. He is the whole and soul. The owner of that company and need to be held responsible. Subsequently, because there was rush, because there was public uh, crowd being a holiday and then uh, for a first day of the new year and then in the festive season, where was the local police? How did they not anticipate and why did they fail to control the crowd? Because the traffic police or the local police in the festive season, they kept taking rounds all over in the evening and more be this iconic signature bridge or the suspension bridge. When often we have seen crowd, there are reports that often uh, they, it has been crowded. Why they did not anticipate that being holiday, more and more people could go and gather on the suspension bridge and that could lead to any tragedy. And remember, when I travelled, I have seen several, uh, yeah. you know, uh, the sign boards which says, uh, do not crowd, do not take selfies, be very careful. If these indications, these directives are made for the people, why the authorities were sleeping and they did not anticipate this could lead further. And then subsequently, why okay. they are blaming to the only a company that without NLC they opened it, why did they not close it? So you know, there clearly, are a lot of questions right now about the political links of the owner of Oreva and whether that is providing him some sort of protection from this investigation, some sort of a shield. We will be asking these questions through this uh, coverage as well, Ashutosh. Thanks for the moment for joining us with all of those details. We've lost 133 people in this insurmountable tragedy in Morbi.